in the evening, inmates are encouraged to study. At 7 p.m. sharp, the TV turns on. They can watch it until 9 p.m., then lights out. The Japanese have been used to discipline since childhood, but for foreign inmates, it's hard to take. Another Frenchman has a traumatic experience in the Japanese prison system. He has inside experience of the way inmates are treated. Marc Carpeles is 35 years old. He has a mild form of Asperger syndrome. He's also a computer genius. He was locked up for 11 months, but he decided to stay in Japan after his release. A good meal, a pleasure he forgot while he was incarcerated. J'ai perdu 35 kilos au commissariat et j'ai repris 5 kilos au centre de détention. J'étais complètement méconnaissable en sortant du commissariat. Le plus dur, c'est vraiment d'attendre et d'être seul, de rien avoir à faire et de ne rien pouvoir faire. C'est dans une cellule de 6 mètres carrés. Et être là, assis, et attendre, et attendre, et attendre. Ce qui est dur, c'est non seulement de ne rien avoir à faire, mais c'est aussi de ne pas savoir quand ça va se finir. His case is a huge scandal in Japan. It starts in 2014. Mark Karpolis made his fortune in Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. But when his company goes bankrupt, he has to apologize publicly to an audience of journalists. Soon it is discovered that millions of euros have disappeared and he is accused of stealing the money. The nightmare begins. C'est le 1er août à 6h41 du matin. C'est le moment où en fait, les policiers sortent de chez moi, avec moi au milieu. À ce moment-là, c'est assez compliqué parce que d'un côté, j'étais entouré de policiers. Il y en a deux qui me tiennent de chaque côté. Euh, J'avais aussi une corde autour de la taille qui était connectée à un policier derrière moi. Ils ont insisté à ce que j'ai une casquette sur la tête. Dans la tradition japonaise, c'est on arrête les camps, du cache le visage. Mark Karpolis spends four months in custody. Then he is transferred to Kosage prison, where Carlos Ghosn was locked up. To prove that the prisoners were being treated well, the authorities opened their doors to journalists last year. There too, everything is clean and tidy. But according to Mark Karpolis, it's not the decor that drives you crazy, it's the rules. In Kosage, the prisoners are awaiting trial. They don't work and they're in solitary confinement. In the cell, you have to be assigned at the right place, in the right way. There are only two ways to sit here. Either in the Japanese or in the other. The Japanese is the way to sit like this. So we have our little table here. And in the other, of course, I can do it. In the other, we can put it like this. We don't have the right to talk, we don't have the right to sniffle or do whatever it is. Euh, pas le droit évidemment de taper sur les murs, de faire de la musique ou quoi que ce soit. Euh, juste le droit donc de rester là, d'être assis, euh, de lire ou d'écrire. Il y a un moment, euh, j'ai pété les plombs, j'ai donné un coup de poing contre la porte. Les gardes sont arrivés en renfort, euh, genre une dizaine, une quinzaine de gardes. Et je me suis retrouvé ficelé et euh, transporté dans les cellules de... de comment dire... Enfin, ils ont une cellule spéciale pour ces cas-là. It's an empty padded cell where he spends four hours tied up. Then he is punished for four days. No more books or writing materials. Finally, after nearly a year behind bars, he is tried, declared innocent of embezzlement and released. 
but he is given a suspended sentence on another minor charge. Officially, he remains a guilty man. These conditions of detention do not seem to bother the Japanese. On the contrary, the prison administration is proud of its prisons. It even promotes the most severe of them, the famous Kosuge prison. With its impressive X-shaped architecture, the building is colossal. It's the last place you'd think of going for fun. Once a year, the authorities organize a huge festival there. In the public space surrounding it, there are 10,000 people celebrating, just a few meters from the cells. On stage, a Japanese pop star. All day long, one show follows another. Then, visitors head to the stands set up for the occasion. Here, people can have their picture taken with a prison guard's cap. あ、いいじゃん。<笑><笑> Yeah! <laughs> On stage, law enforcement officers are showing how effectively they stop the bad guys. But the highlight of the festival is when visitors taste the dish typically served to Japanese prisoners, curry and rice. People have to wait an hour to receive their tray. But for three euros, it's worth it. The visitors are in no doubt that prisoners are treated well. Well-fed prisoners, efficient police officers and friendly guards. The festival presents an ideal prison system. Only one person is shocked by this PR exercise. We asked Thomas Savikas to come with us. This Lithuanian man spent six months inside the prison for attempting to kidnap his own daughter. In Japan, in divorce cases, foreign parents are systematically deprived of their children. Why would you create a fiesta in a prison? It's a prison. What kind of brainwashing is actually happening in here is just mind-boggling. You see, you see around, you know, little children be enjoying the day out. It's, it's like a park. Does it look like a park, you know, the, any kind of human rights violations is happening right there. He's not fooled. He knows this prison. No, it's way, way better. It's, it's almost restaurant-grade curry. And believe me, in there, they do not give you this kind of curry. The public are not here to worry about the fate of the prisoners. At the following stands, products made from prisoners from all over Japan are sold. Leather goods, furniture, and in particular, comfortable and slightly retro shoes. Again, Thomas can't believe it. Uh, no, for you need, 
ここは暖房がついてないが施設なのでこん,なこんないっぱいお金があ,のあるので、はい、なんでか暖房がついてないのあ暖房はねま,、うん、まあそれは<笑>これはあの本部があって、まあ、細かい話になっちゃうんですけど本部がありまして He says he's never seen any of that money No matter how outraged Thomas is, the party goes on. A concert by female students in suits. Free candy floss for the children. Yeah! The prison system is not about to change. But there is another aspect of the treatment of detainees that is criticized by lawyers and many NGOs, the policy of confessions. In Japan, it is called hostage justice. If the accused deny the accusation, their custody can be extended indefinitely. They are questioned intensely until they confess. This is what happened to businessman Carlos Ghosn. He was arrested on the 19th of November, 2018, just after landing at Tokyo airport. In this footage, which has traveled around the world, a team of prosecutors are conducting a search of his private jet. Out of sight. Carlos Ghosn does not reappear until two months later, during a court appearance for a bail application. Television cameras are not allowed to film it. The stern-looking president denies his request. After 108 days of detention, he is finally released for the first time. Here he is coming out of prison, hidden under a mask disguised as a worker on the advice of his lawyer to fool journalists. It's an attempt that deceives no one. The press follows him. As he plans to hold a major press conference on the 11th of April, 2019, he learns that he will be arrested again on new charges. This is the method of prosecutors. Split up the charges to allow the period of custody to be extended sometimes for months. So Carlos Ghosn records a video. The first message is I'm innocent. And I spent 108 days in prison because I've been always consistent with this position that I was innocent of all the charges. The next day it's back to prison for another 22 days, a system of going back and forth in detention with the sole purpose of breaking the accused. 